Just put them together, Peter. Let them walk together. Well, there's no point doing more than one at a time right now. There. All right. Today we got uh, a few things that on the go. We got uh, we got our uh, vet Ryan is out. He's uh, we're gonna test our bulls for just to make sure their semen is good for uh, breeding season. It is not warm. No. Nope. We do not have our... We do not have our squeeze set up, so we're gonna put the bowls, hopefully they fit in the maternity pen, squeeze here, and then we'll test them in there. So here we got, we have four of our bulls. We need to go grab one more. Darrow went to go grab Gateway, our uh, four-year-old. I think he's a four-year-old Gateway. Yeah, it's gotta be something like that. Four-year-old uh, Shorthorn Bull. And then we got Cutter. This is our black Angus Bull. And we throw Cutter on all of our heifers. That's, uh, our heifers get black Angus for easy calving and lots of vigor. And then that guy right there, that's Johnny. He's our, uh, our other short horn bull. And Titan, he's a full blood, full blood uh, Semitol bull. Morning, Ryan. How are you? Good. Come on, let's go. Get in, Quinn. Move in close here. Come on. Let's go. Yep, let's go. Come on, let's go. Yep, yep. Come on, move in. Move in. Let's go. Come on. There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Okay, so first one up, Johnny was really, really wild, so he came in. He is, uh, he is our. Uh, let me think now, he is two years old. And uh, he's our short horn bull that we bought from Manbunders in uh, Saskatchewan. He's the first one up. And we'll see if we can make this all work. We're having to adjust the head gate because obviously the bulls have bigger heads than the cows. So, <coughs> yeah, Johnny. Well, it looks like a little Morton is here with a. Uh... They're good enough, but giving us a tractor we can use. Our one uh, tractor, our front planetary, went on it about a month and a half ago. And uh, parts came from, our parts were supposed to be here from France. And uh, they were supposed to be a week. But apparently they didn't clear customs in Germany. Not sure what's going on. Anyway, there's a bit of a 
we're having a bit of issues getting this one this one small part in or one part in i didn't say small but the one part we're having a hard time getting in and uh everything else is in except this one thing and we're trying to figure out why uh there isn't this piece in north america but anyway that's covid covid created a shortage of everything so anyway we needed a tractor with a grapple so little morton's bringing uh they, they're giving us a 716 vent to use to get some of the jobs done that we need before it gets too mucky so we get to try this sucker out This is kind of nice. main thing we want to use this tractor for is we've got our alfalfa bales out in the out in the field and uh, we want to we're going to get those alfalfa bales off before things get muddy and uh, we can't use our wheel, our one tra our 7715 with that planetary gone it has a grapple and that's the one that we want to use so we're kind of in a bit of a bit of a pickle so Echo's been good by getting us uh, Echo, Little Warden. They've been good by uh, letting us use this scent. Probably should just buy it. This tractor is. <laughs> this is nice. This is very nice. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it right here for right now. I'm gonna head to the barn and uh, we'll do that semen testing first. And then uh, I think Will from Little Morton's gonna come down and show me exactly how to use this tractor. So Ryan took a test from Johnny here. And then what he does is he takes it to his truck where he's got a, a scope and then he looks at it and then he can test to see at least whether they're active and moving. How are they? Looks good. Good. So then, then we just need, then he can go back in? Yep. Okay. <laughs> so what's the uh, we... George? We check uh, his scrotal size, uh, and then feel feel the testicles to make sure they're uh, symmetrical, and make sure that uh, they're not soft or really hard. And check that epididymis to make sure that's and make sure that the testicles are freely mo mobile, mobile. Just because otherwise they can get scar tissue. So now we're just. So you said once we get like so three years old and then. No, the issue don't grow. They'll fluctuate a little bit just with the uh, temperature and the uh, Yep. Now you're now what are you doing? You're stimulating. Now I'm just checking the seminal vesicles to make sure they're uh, normal size and, and feel normal. Uh, and then stimulating the root of the penis to kind of start start uh, the process. Yeah. Yeah, we're starting the process. <laughs> yep. And then you pulsate that. Is that what you call it? Yep. Uh, so it's just a tiny electrical current that's uh, it's just in a really sensitive spot. Because <laughs> you actually can't, you can't even feel. If you were to hold the probe, you can't even feel. The when you hold the probe with your hands, you yeah. we wouldn't even know that it's nope. at cranked. We wouldn't even feel it. No. Nope. Uh, it's just yeah, just the real And then we check to make sure that they extend properly. There's no warts or hair rings or 
We had it once where the the skin kind of was attached to the yeah persistent fren frenulum. A what? A persistent frenulum. Persi okay. Uh, yeah, it just the the sheath is attached to the tip of the penis. And then if they have an injury or something, sometimes they can't extend their penis. But he ended up testing really good. Let's see what we get here. Alright, this is our last bowl to test of our mature bowls and so far all those ones, the semen activity, they've been, the uh, semen's moved very well, so very lively. That doesn't mean that we know that it's good yet, but we know it's lively. And our full blood titan. Okay, so the testing is all done. Everybody did good, we're going to get the final results. Uh, not maybe later on today, but more probably more like tomorrow. So now we gotta load these guys up and take them back. Is that? There's no way they can get out there, right? I mean, that is not very reliable right now. It'll be fine. I hope. Someone gets their head in there, they're gone. Here, I'll stay here. You guys bring them, and then we'll go from there. I'm guessing we're trying to put all five on. Right? Yep. My guess is they want out of here. Let's go, boys. Don't go behind it. Up we go. That gateway wants on first this time. Come on, let's go. Push them a little bit, guys. Of course you would. Let's go, boys. One. Hey Johnny, up you go. Three, four, and Google, up you go. I love our wild bulls. Right, Peter? Aren't our bulls wild? Yeah, so wild that you can even ride. <laughs> okay, I got our uh, I got our one twin here off of 35G, the most recent twin that we had. And I just noticed that she's been she's been skinny and lots of energy but just doesn't look full. And I thought, let's see if she drinks a bottle. I'm struggling to see that that cow is gonna have enough. Um, the calves are lots of energy and they both look, um, well, they're living, but I don't think they're gaining. So I decided I'd give this, see whether this calf would take a bottle and it's not gonna drink the whole thing, but he's definitely uh, getting full. So I'm thinking what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna turn this one into a bottle baby and, and then we're down to 13 cows left to calve. Hey bud, you want some more? Come. Come. Yeah, I think he's full now. But um, we have 13 cows left to calve. If we don't have a cow that loses, then uh, well, we'll turn around and this will just be a bottle baby. So. I think that's the, I think that's what we're going to do, we'll, we'll, I think that's what will be best for the cow and the calves. Okay, we brought this, uh, the one twin, we brought him in with Brock, my boy's bottle calf. So we're going to have them together in this pen, the 4-H animal ones will just be over there. And we will bottle feed them both, but that guy's getting big enough and old enough we, we're gonna have some grass in front of him that he can play on or I shouldn't say play on but he can nibble on and We're gonna put some green in there and get him transitioning off the bottle onto uh, some other stuff Some grass and some green uh, Yeah, and slowly slowly we start weaning him off of uh, off of milk. He's uh, about two months old now 
So it's about that time. We got the truck moved ahead. Gonna go grab some more. It's quite fancy here. We got it on foot pedal mode now. Yeah. How do you like it, Quinn? It's nice. It's, it's all right. So we got our first load made. Um, I think there's 28 bales on the, this trailer. If we made an extension, we could put more, probably 32, but managed to put a roll on top and bottom. It's a little nerve wracking when you have no hay runs on the bottom, but it's all right. Let's see how this goes. Yikes. This tractor is beautiful. It's uh, quiet, it's so smooth, it sh the way it shifts. This, uh, our, there's a huge difference uh, when we drive our 77, 7715 Massey. It's way nicer than our 6465. And then we drive our Kubota, and it seems like our 6465 is nice, but, uh, and they are nice tractors, or they work, they do well. But this, uh, this vent is, uh, just absolutely beautiful. They're calling for uh, the possibility of a Colorado low uh, next week. So we're getting bales in place in all of our different yards uh, just in case uh, feed wise that we the cows will always have uh, feed close by. So right now we're moving a whole bunch of wheat straw and alfalfa bales and some grass uh, hay bales to Rob's so that uh, if things get muddy or lots of snow, whatever, they'll have lots of feed there. So that's what we're doing now. And that's, uh, we want to do that with the grapple with this tractor and that's a few miles away. So we will use this tractor that little Morton is letting us use. We'll uh, use it to get that job done. And then we'll see whether we need to put any more hours on this tractor, but uh, Right now I'm uh, operating in foot pedal mode. And so I got a foot pedal down there, right here, the orange thing. And when I press down, it goes. And when I let go, it stops. So it, it automatically changes all the, all the 
there is no transmission in this. It's a CV, well, it's a CVT transmission, but there's no gears. It just, it just drives. Uh, but there's different modes. I'm not the one that should be describing all this, but there's so many different, uh, or there's different options you can go with. Uh, that can be a throttle down there too, I believe. I think. On these fence, on the, so this is a this is a fence 716. Uh, I think it's a 22, 2022, and they have the the front windshield goes actually all the way up. So when you're doing loader work, you're not having to. On a lot of tractors, there's a bar that comes across right here on the front of your cab, and the, the front windshield comes back. So doing loader work is really nice. You don't have to be going down and looking up. It's uh, visibility is second to none. you can see but right now I don't have to go out and under and look up like this this is my view right here sitting back in my chair so visibility is just it's awesome Well, today was an absolutely beautiful day outside. Considering the weather we've had lately. And we moved, uh, we cleaned up another straw pack in the middle of our pen. We tried to do it on frozen dirt this morning and it worked well. <clears throat> so we cleaned up, we had a big straw pack here and that's where this oats feeder was originally. Just trying to get as much moisture out of our pens as possible. And manure has this uh, manure, straw, snow, everything that was in there. That takes a long time and moisture is always seeping out doesn't dry out so we're hoping this works <clears throat> and because we're getting later into the year um, I say later into the year cabin's just about over and calves are getting bigger everybody's getting bigger the um, we're not needing the straw packs to create heat uh, outside and so we're just trying to get as much manure cleaned up as possible in past years we haven't been able to do that just the way our spring has been in the past anyway now i'm gonna go for a little walk i think we got a fresh calf over here as i walk back 
But looks like we got man cow. 98F, we call her man cow. Looks like she had a bull calf. So she's a very friendly cow until she cows. Once she calves, she's nuts. So looks like she had it in a not so good area. This is a very muddy manure area. And uh, we have lots of straw over there. Lots of fresh straw, but sometimes cows are going to do what they're going to do. They're going to go over to a wet puddle and uh, or a muddy area and they calve there. So just because you have fresh straw and a nice area for them to calve, it doesn't mean that they're going to use that area. But that calf is on, so in all honesty, we can process this calf tomorrow. As long as the calf gets on, that's the main thing. So. Right on, another calf born. We're down to 12 to calf. So that's a good day. That's a good thing. And uh, yeah. Everybody seems to be doing pretty good. Haven't had any health issues so far with calves, cows. It's all been pretty good. So anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for taking the time to watch and have yourself a good one.